10, we toss and catch other people's bodies. Now, I read this one article once, and it scared the living crap out of me. Um, so, this one girl was at a competition, they were doing a basket. Now, you set up like this, your flower goes in, you throw her up in the air, and then she goes way up, and you catch her. Well, the base got kicked in the chest, a rib punctured her heart, and she died on the mat. And I'm not even kidding. There have been, I think there's four reported cheerleading deaths. You could get kicked in the head. If you your flyer lands on the ground, there's a bone that's only a tenth of a centimeter away from your spinal cord. And if you hit your spinal cord, you're gonna get paralyzed if not you're gonna die so cheerleading's pretty rough number 11 is you have to have dedication and cheer you have to want to be there because this isn't like basketball you can't just take a person out and like throw another person back in like if someone's not there you can't do your stunt like you can't com you can't compete with that one person like you're a team like you need the whole team to be there for the whole routine to go together like, it just won't work. Like, I'm telling you, you can't take one person out because then a stunt group can't go up. You have to be dedicated to the sport. You have to want to be there. And if you don't want to be there, you're bringing the entire team down. Cheerleading is a full team sport. Like, this isn't like football where, like, you can take out another person and it's all right, just fix around. It's not like soccer where you can take out another person. This is cheerleading. You take one person away, the entire team crumbles. Like, it is hard. And then if someone gets injured, finding another person that has the ability to do what that flyer does, having the bases learn how to do that flyer, if you can find one, you have to have skill to do cheerleading, as I said before. You can't just take someone out and put someone back in. It's just not that easy. Number 12 is we compete against other people. So, my school, Butler, um, we have won states, I think, two or three times. That's pretty big. Recently was, I think it was two years ago, we won states. We have got second at nationals. This year we became a co-ed team. We have not had any competitions yet, obviously because of summer, but hopefully we will do great things. But we compete against other people. I competed in Mobiles and States last year. I was a freshman, so usually freshmen, like they don't always compete. You're usually alternate. But I was a freshman last year and I competed at Mobiles and States and we got fourth out of 44 teams, I believe it was. And that's huge. Cheerleading, there's so much cheerleading that people don't know about. When they think of cheerleading, they think of those girl. they think of girls in small skirts on the side cheering for the football team and dating all the football players. Like, no. No. I barely, like, they think we're popular. I can barely have a social life. And if I do have a social life, it's with my team. Like, I barely have time to sleep, to study. And you have to keep your grades up to do cheerleading. This isn't some like, oh, we're dumb cheerleaders. Like half of us are in honors, if not, we're in AP. I think almost all the seniors, if not all of them are taking a, at least one AP class. Like we're not stupid. And number 13, if you get hurt, you can't stop. So my eighth grade year, I did competitive cheer, like all-star cheerleading. And in the beginning of the team, we had an aerial, no hand and cartwheel, and I rolled my ankle, and I did the entire routine, hit my stunts, and tumbled after that, and like, my ankle was probably sprained. My bone touched the mat. Like, this bone right here touched the mat on the ground, and my coach is like, it is a wonder how bones aren't popping out of your body. Then... When I hurt myself in my full, I tumbled on it, I jumped on it, and probably made it worse. We were doing a run through. My coach literally had to force me to sit down because I am very dedicated to cheerleading. But you just can't stop. Like, you have to finish the routine. Like, 
Who cares if there's blood going down your face? You get up, it's just cheerleading. You do it. If you don't think cheerleading's a sport, meet me on the mat because it is. I've had people think it wasn't a sport and they tried it and they're like, wow, like you do a lot. We have four boys on our team and they've all played other sports. We have volleyball players, we have track, football players, baseball players, like it's hard, trust me. And it's all worth it. And we practice all that much and the total number of times we can pee, if we add it by two minutes and 30 seconds, we probably spend about hundreds of hours if not thousands of hours, just for probably a total of 10 minutes. 10 minutes isn't even a quarter of a football game. We spend a lot of time, probably more than most sports, because cheer runs full year for 10 minutes. And honestly, it's worth it. So thank you for watching guys. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment below if you like this video and comment what other videos you would like to see. Love you guys so much. Mm -hmm. Subscribe to Nat's Barbie. <laughs>